Hello and welcome to our comprehensive guide to absolutely everything you can eat on Silver Sea's beautiful Silver Spirit. Lengthened and fully refurbished in 2018, she's the largest ship in the fleet by guest capacity and was their flagship for eight years before Silver Sea's launch of Silver Muse, the first of three new sisters in 2017. Silver Spirit has eight dining venues, an extensive in-suite dining menu and the wonderful snack coffee bar, The Arts Cafe. In this guide, we will visit each in turn to give you a sample of what they offer and our opinion on which one are our favourites. So, in rough order of size, here's the full 10 dining options you can enjoy on this utterly gorgeous vessel. Let's begin. La Terrazza, or La Terrazza, is where most guests go for the buffet lunch and breakfast. Located at the aft of the ship, it is aptly named after the lovely outside seating area attached to the main restaurant, with wonderful wake views to enjoy whilst savouring an al fresco meal. Breakfast here is a lavish affair. The buffet selection includes typical hot breakfast foods, pastries and breads, cold meats and cheeses, cereals and yogurts, and the best selection of fruit and berries we've ever seen on a cruise ship. There are also fresh egg breakfasts, waffles, pancakes, and French toast to order through the table waiter who will ensure your fruit juice, tea, or coffee is constantly topped up and refreshed. At lunchtime, the breakfast buffet is replaced with fresh sushi, a range of hot foods, breads, and salads. There is also a fresh pasta bar which can be ordered through your table waiter and a separate dessert bar, tempting you with the first naughty calories of the day. In the evening, La Terrazza becomes a full table service Italian restaurant. Whilst it is advised to make a reservation, we manage to eat here at peak time without having to make one. The menu is typically Italian, paired with fine Italian wines. Upon arrival, we were offered a glass of Prosecco and a tapas plate to share, along with a basket of Italian breads, featuring the most amazing focaccia. For starters, we decided to share a delicious caprice salad in order to leave room for the obligatory pasta dish. Featuring typical Italian accompaniments, such as a hearty tagliatelle ragu and silky vibrant linguine pesto. Entree dishes include veal milanese, pan seared tuna and fresh sea bass, all accompanied by a rather wonderful Chianti Classico or Sangiovese Bianco. Then to top it all off in true Italian style, the desserts in La Terrazza reflect what the Italians do best. Atlantide is classed as one of the two main restaurants on board and as such is one of the largest. There is no need to make a reservation. Atlantide can accommodate differing sized tables and we never saw a queue. The venue is very modern traditional in decor and style, offering classic steak and seafood dishes. There's also a number of vegetarian options. Of particular note were the signature lobster and caviar salad, the filet mignon and New Zealand lamb chops, and the beautifully presented and equally delicious lemon meringue dessert. Atlantide is also open for breakfast and lunch. At breakfast time, they serve the same extensive menu as the room service offerings. In our experience, the restaurant was very quiet in the mornings. We were only one of three tables seated when we went, which meant that the service was second to none and the food was fresh and beautifully presented. Indochine is the other of the two main restaurants, being of equal size to Atlantide and also not requiring reservation. This is classified as an Asian fusion restaurant, serving a wide variety of Eastern-influenced cuisines such as teriyaki chicken skewers, Chinese beef tenderloin, aloo gobi and one of the most delicious lamb rogan joshes we have ever eaten. The desserts did not disappoint either, offering some of our favourites including coconut cream rice pudding and another delicious creme brulee. This was our favourite restaurant on board, serving some truly deliciously different dishes. Variety really is the spice of life in Indochine. And as it was not generally as busy as Atlantide, we found the service to be super attentive too. 
Seishin is the Japanese word for spirit and is the first restaurant in our guide that attracts a cover charge in the evenings, in this case $40 each. It is almost as difficult to secure a table here as it is to La Dame, being of a similar size and layout. The only significant difference in layout is the large preparation station in the middle of the room, which allows diners to observe the chefs preparing the sushi and other cold dishes. In the evening, Seishin offers an extensive Japanese menu with dishes to tempt even the least adventurous diner. Upon arrival for dinner, guests are greeted with a delicious sake cocktail served in the most amazing octopus-shaped glasses. The menu offers a chef's recommended dinner, but we decided to order from the main menu instead. For the first course, we chose the king crab paper wraps and tuna tartare, followed by king prawn tempura and wagyu beef skewers. And who could resist the surf and turf main dish? Wagyu beef and lobster tail. Mmm, delicious. The passion fruit creme brulee was the perfect ending to this exquisite meal. And the wonderful thing about Seishin is that even if you don't want to pay the cover charge or can't secure a table in the evening, it is open during lunch for guests to savour that amazing sushi menu. We would recommend visiting for both dinner and lunch since the menus are quite different and we thoroughly enjoyed the seafood sashimi and an assortment of sushi rolls as recommended by the wonderfully hospitable waitress who served us on both visits. La Dame is the second of the two restaurants attracting a cover charge on Silver Spirit, in this case $60 per person. It is an intimate dining venue with only around 20 covers, mostly set out as tables for two, serving fine dining French cuisine. Of all the restaurants on board, this is the one with the loftiest reputation and consequently the hardest to get into, and generally requires a reservation to be made quite a while prior to boarding the ship, using the online reservation system. In fact, we would recommend that if you want to eat here, you should make a reservation as soon as you book the cruise to ensure you get a table. As would be expected on such a delightful setting, the service is impeccable. Upon arrival, you are greeted like long-standing patrons visiting their favourite restaurant, with a glass of perfectly chilled champagne and a very warm welcome. The food is as amazing as the service with the starters such as caviar, foie gras, veal sweetbreads and coquille Saint-Jacques, and each course prepared with premium wines specific to La Dame. The soup course offerings include dishes such as boulibets, lobster bisque and mushroom velouté, which is followed by a sour lemon sorbet to cleanse the palate. The entree course offers a choice of either meat or fish, including duck à l'orange, beef fillet, braised beef, lamb steaks, lobster tail, turbot, dover sole or sea bass. Hmm, it is fair to say that the braised beef dish I chose was one of the tastiest dishes I have ever eaten. There won't be much room left for desserts, but you simply can't resist them. On offer was a cheese platter, a chocolate mousse with strawberries, a fruit platter or a Grand Marnier souffle. The souffle being the only slight disappointment to an otherwise delicious meal. Yes, we were expecting the souffle to be as high as a house. La Dame is the perfect venue if you are celebrating a special occasion on board and, let's face it, just being on board a Silver Sea ship deserves to be celebrated in itself. Silver Note is the food attainment venue, offering guests a chance to enjoy a meal whilst being entertained by a jazz duo. This is a small restaurant accommodating 30 to 40 guests on tables placed around a small dance floor. This is a complimentary restaurant and is obviously very popular as we found securing a reservation here quite difficult, even when booking online prior to our cruise. The menu is promoted as tapas in style and definitely wins an award for being as unusual and avant-garde as the jazz itself, offering dishes such as marinated octopus, beef crudo and tuna with quinoa. The menu is divided into earth and ocean selections, both raw and cooked. On our 
voyage, we were entertained by the fabulous Esther, who was singing, and Chantal on the piano, who took requests from the floor and engaged with the audience, adapting the songs to make them their own. The imaginative food and the playful music fit together like a two-piece jigsaw. In Silver Note, one would simply not be complete without the other. Although it may take some effort to secure a table here, we would recommend doing so. It is so very different to all the other restaurants on board and deserves at least one visit per voyage. The Patio Grill is located at one end of the pool deck with tables offered under a canopy near the grill area along one side of the pool and some tables out in the sunshine for those wanting to eat under the sun. It opens every lunchtime at midday and stays open into the middle of the afternoon, so is perfect for those later returns after spending some time ashore or on an excursion. It offers all of the usual grill type fare, including burgers, wraps, sandwiches and salads. We particularly like the sharing platters and mezes to share while we're waiting for our burgers to cook or eat as a snack around the pool. And to finish off a delicious alfresco lunch, what could be better than a bowl of delicious gelato? The grill is perfect for grabbing a snack around the pool or enjoying a three-course lunch and quickly became our favourite lunchtime venue. In the evening, the grill turns into the popular Hot Rocks restaurant. Although you wouldn't necessarily need to reserve a table here, it would be advised to, especially when sailing in warmer climes where the lure to eat outside around a beautifully lit pool is too much to resist. Diners eating here need to come prepared for a little bit of interaction as they are expected to cook their own food upon the blisteringly hot lava stones the waiters bring to your table. This is one of the two relaxed evening restaurants attracting guests who may not want to dress up for the evening, which is probably a good thing, given that each diner is adorned with a large grey apron upon sitting down. <laughs> not our best look, we'd have to admit. Given the style of cooking, the food on offer is suited to grilling on hot lava stone, steaks, king prawns, skewers, etc. Each is served with a choice of sauce and side dishes and rounded off with desserts, such as gelato and cheesecake. Mmm, it's a great experience. Spacanapoli is located above the grill restaurant overlooking the pool deck and is the other relaxed outdoor dining venue. It is open from 11am to 11pm every day, so perfect for any time dining. It is the traditional pizza restaurant on board, named after the famous street in Napoli, lined with Italian pizza houses. The pizzas are freshly prepared to order and cooked in a traditional pizza oven, and taste as good as any pizza we have ever had. It is also possible to order salads and side dishes which can be brought up from the patio grill downstairs and it is all finished off with a visit to the gelato bar located next to the pizza area. Although we never had the chance to eat here in the evening, on a warm evening at sea this would be a beautiful place to sit and watch the evening skies pass by. And who can resist a delicious pizza to accompany that? We could not leave this dining guide without mentioning the marvellous Arts Café. Although this technically is not a restaurant, this is the go-to place for delicious snacks and treats throughout the day and was largely responsible for our weight gain whilst on board. The Arts Café offers a relaxing place to sit, be it indoors or outside, wonderful coffee and delicious snacks. It all starts at breakfast time with an array of pastries, fruits and yoghurts, or breakfast paninis as well as fruit juices and smoothies. Moving into lunchtime, there are soups, more paninis and mini desserts. But the best bit of the day is afternoon tea, when an amazing choice of finger sandwiches, individual cakes, scones and cream and the biggest array of various sponge cakes miraculously appears. Absolute heaven for the sweet-toothed among us. And don't forget that pre-bedtime cuppa, accompanied by delicious truffles and shards of unadulterated chocolate. As far as cruise ship cafes go, this has got to be one of the best at sea. We just wish we could replicate it just down the road from our house. <laughs> but our bathroom scales probably wouldn't thank us.
Breakfast by Butler. That should be a cheesy tagline, but believe us, you have to have breakfast in your suite at least once. There are some things on the in-suite menu that aren't available in the La Terrazza Buffet restaurant, including some unusual and very tasty dishes, such as breakfast couscous and equally delicious savoury souffles. However, the most outstanding Silver Sea breakfast dish has to be the Belgian waffles, also available in the Terrazza and Atlantide which tasted as close to the waffles we've sampled in Bruges as any we've ever eaten. In-sweet dining is available throughout the day and offers the usual room service dishes such as burgers, sandwiches and pizzas, but also offers guests the chance to enjoy a full three-course dinner in their suite. Great if you've had a busy day and just feel like relaxing in your room. This includes some rather lovely little dishes aptly named tongue twisters, which were equally as good and tasty as little appetizers or daytime snacks as well as a good selection of first courses. Followed by this is a varied selection of soups and pasta dishes before the main offerings, including a variety of steak and fish dishes served with a choice of sides. The finish off is a small selection of desserts, ice creams and cheeses. Ordering is simple, but do make sure you are specific about timings of each course when placing your order, if you would like to eat it course by course. What a wonderful way to spend an evening eating a delicious three-course meal, accompanied by a bottle of champagne, whilst watching a movie in the privacy of your own spacious suite. Perfect! To summarise, the variety and quality of food and dining venues available on Silver Spirit is truly outstanding given the size of the ship. Even though we were on a 10-day voyage, we struggled to visit every venue and there were definitely some we would have liked to have had the chance to revisit. Oh well, I suppose we'll just have to sail on her again. Thank you for watching. We hope you press the like button, followed by the subscribe button, followed by one of these videos we think you'll enjoy that explore the Silver Spirit further. Thank you.